Hi students, in this session we are going to start our new topic particle accelerators. Uh, high energy particles have greatly affected the growth of nuclear physics. The charged particles are generally derived from ion sources and these particles are accelerated to attain high energies and these high energy charged particles are used in conducting research related to particles such as mesons, antiprotons, antineutrons etc. So there must be some device which can be used to accelerate the charged particles so that they gain high velocities and hence very high energies. Such a device is the particle accelerator. So particle accelerators are devices used for accelerating charged particles and thereby increasing their kinetic energy. Now there are different methods for accelerating charged particles. One is the direct field method, then the induction method and resonance method or magnetic resonance method. In the direct field method, the particle passes only once through the electric field with a high potential difference set up by electrostatic generators. So the particle is allowed to pass through a high field uh, created by electrostatic generators and the particle passes through this field only once and on passing through the field it attains high amount of energy. An example of direct field accelerator is our linear accelerator. The second method for accelerating particles is the induction method. The only inductive type of accelerator is the beta-tron and the details of this induction method will be discussed when we study about beta-tron. Next is the resonance method in which the particle is accelerated repeatedly by passing through an alternating electric field along a closed path and each time it passes through this path its energy is increased. Here a strong magnetic field is used to control the motion of the particles and to return them periodically to the electric field. An example of the magnetic resonance type of accelerator is our cyclotron which you have already learned in your previous classes. Now, depending on the path followed by the charged particles, accelerators are divided into two types, linear accelerators and cyclic accelerators. In linear accelerator, the shape of the path of the particle is approximately a straight line. That is the charged particles get accelerated, they acquire high energy and they come out along straight lines. Whereas in cyclic accelerators, the path of, path of the particles are either circles or spirals. So these are the new concepts that we have learned. One is what are particle accelerators? Particle accelerators are devices used for accelerating charged particles so that their velocity is increased and in turn their kinetic energy is increased to a very large value. Why do you use particle accelerators? Because these high energy charged particles are used in the various studies of nuclear physics. What are the methods for accelerating charged particles? Direct field method where we apply a very high uh, electric field to accelerate the particle and in turn make them gain high energy. Induction method and the third one is the magnetic resonance method as used in a cyclotron. Now depending on the path followed, the accelerators are 
classified into linear accelerators and cyclic accelerators. In linear accelerators, the particles follow a straight line path, whereas in a cyclic accelerator, they follow a spiral or a uh, circular path. I hope this session is clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, do contact. Thank you.